And if there's anything we've come to expect in this season, it's the unexpected. We're still talking about teams as we played five games that we normally or wouldn't have not expected to talk about, David. And so I'll ask you this. When you survey the landscape, who, what team, who out there has been the biggest surprise for you? And that's going to continue, Wendy. This season, it looks like that's good. We're going to see that throughout. We're going to talk about teams in the playoffs like Cincinnati, I think, up until the, the last week of the college football playoff, which is awesome. The more teams, the better. Look at Iowa at three. Look at Penn State at four. I, I think, to me, our Kansas, baby, Arkansas, is, is a team that I didn't expect to beat Texas and Texas A&M and climb up into the top ten early in the season. Um, you know, they've done it, obviously, with, the, with K.J. Wright, an off, a quarterback that we knew nothing about before the season. So, uh, great defense. I think we, we knew they would play great defense, but I don't think anybody saw Arkansas as a game day destination a week ago, a top 10 team versus Georgia. So, it was a heck of a surprise. Sam Pittman's done a heck of a job with that club. I agree with you on Arkansas, uh, except the last game, of course. But, you know, they had a, a great start to their season. The other team that surprised me is Iowa, and, and a team that started outside the top 15 that has worked their way to inside the top five in the way they're doing it. Uh, they're outstanding on the defensive side. And, and Iowa's not a team that does a lot of different looks on the defensive side. They do a really good job of making you turn the ball over because they don't make mistakes. So they lead the Big Ten in, in scoring defense. They lead the Big Ten in creating turnovers. And Spencer Petras has done a good job of taking care of the football. And, and that's the winning uh, idea for Iowa is take care of the football, be physical, and then let your defense win you football games. It's worked out so far pretty good for the Iowa, the, for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And if they continue, they're a big team also that we talk about at the end of the season uh, with a chance to get in the playoff. It's funny, Joey, that you talk about Iowa because that's a perfect segue as we take a look at our college football rankings brought to you by Capital One. And what stands out is that we've got four Big Ten teams in the top ten. That's compared to just two from the SEC. Clemson fell out of the top 25 for the first time since November of 2014. So, David, you can look at this one of two ways. Of course, glass half full. These teams we're still talking about. You look at it half empty. Teams like Clemson, where we thought we'd be discussing uh, their playoff future at this point in the season, and we're not. But let's go back to that Big Ten, because what's fascinating is that anything can happen here. It is wide open. But I want to ask specifically about Iowa, who Joey talked about. Can they punch their ticket to the Big Ten championship with a win this weekend? They absolutely can. But here's the thing, Wendy. If they lose, they're still punching that ticket. Like, have you seen the division that they play in? Remember, all these teams that we're talking about that are really good with Ohio State, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, they're all on the other side. Look at the remaining schedule. These are all, a lot of these teams are in your division. So if Iowa loses this weekend to Penn State, they're still going to win their division. They're still going to go to the Big Ten championship game. So a good season is coming for the Hawkeyes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.